This is the One Piece podcast, One Piece read through. My name is Zach. My name is Ed. And my name is Steve. And we are reintroducing the One Piece read through today on the podcast. You might notice this episode's a little short, and that's because we're just going to go through what the next couple months for the podcast are going to look like, and also introduce our very special content uh, contest. Thanks to the folks over at Viz Media. So this is very exciting. First off, the One Piece Color Wall Compendium is coming out, and we're doing this in part to celebrate that. And Ed, do you want to talk a little bit about what's in the One Piece Color Walk Compendium? Sure. We have the first three Color Walks as released in Japan, compiled into a hardcover uh, edition with translated interviews and comments from Oda uh, by our very own Stephen Paul. And it um, it looks beautiful based on what I've seen. Uh, I think Alex has the copies for the contest. So I haven't had a chance to get it in my hands yet, but uh, if it's anything like the color walks, it'll be some beautiful printing. And I believe he will have a uh, video look at the One Piece compendium for those who are like, I don't know if I should buy this very cool book. Um, they can decide that when they see Alex's video. But let's say, you know, you're, you're like, hey, I really like One Piece. Shouldn't I just get one for free anyway? Well, if you're lucky, you might. Uh, because we are going to be giving out five, yes, five uh, different, not different, five of the same One Piece Color Wall Compendium, <laughs> East Blue to Skypea, to five lucky winners over five weeks. Ed. It's actually just one copy. You all have to share it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're going to be starting this contest uh, probably by the time you're listening to this today or tomorrow. Uh, it starts June 29th, that's Friday, Friday, June 29th, and this contest will run once a week, every Friday through Ju July 27th. Uh, we're going to go through a little bit more of that and the schedule, um, and we will be announcing a new winner every Friday through the end of our Skypea read-through, which is absolutely perfect uh, to cover the East Blue through Skypea color walk uh compendium so please uh you know listen in and uh enter our contest now a lot of you are asking how do you enter our contest ed do you want to or actually steve do you want to explain to people how they could enter the one piece read through contest it's right on the website if you're curious <laughs> how you could do that it's like i'm confused confused by who you're talking to um but it's simple. It's all you have to do is you got to go on the Twitter and just tweet at us and use use the hashtag OP read through and just talk about your favorite arc in One Piece and what makes it the best arc to you and uh, tag us and tag Viz Media and we will choose some of these tweets, some of the best tweets each week and uh, we'll give you a free book. Yes. Uh, and it's that simple, right? You don't have to draw anything. You don't have to draw anything. I mean, obviously, if it's a more creative post that catches our eye, you know, that could always help. Um, but other than that, you know, it's going to be a somewhat random selection once a week for five weeks. The only catch here is that you have to be from the United States or Canada. But if you're outside of the United States or Canada, which I know many of you are, we still want you to share your favorite arc. And to incentivize you to do just that, we are going to give away one slot to come on the show. We're going to be announcing that winner at the end of the five-week contest. So, Ed, we should probably explain what the One Piece read-through is. Do you want to? Do you want to go through that? What, what is the One Piece read-through? Sure. Back in 2015, when One Piece was only about 800 chapters long, we did arc long. Uh, well, actually, sometimes it was multiple episodes per arc, but. Episodes recapping the entirety of the manga and sort of explaining what we liked the most about it and going in-depth analysis on it. And so we ended up with, what, 13 episodes? Yeah, we ended up uh, with 14 episodes. We did do a Dressrosa episode, but uh, you'll hear a little bit more about that later and what we're going to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, but go ahead, Ed. Or was that all you had to say about that, it? No, that was, that was pretty much it. Every week for the next 13 weeks and then some more. Uh <laughs> <laughs> but well the, the 13 episodes that we released and uh, and then some more. Uh. So we will be coming out, as Ed said, with our 13 episodes that we released back in 2015. 
Um, we're still going to be doing our usual episodes on Monday. These episodes will come out on Friday. Uh, we're going to have two East Blue episodes on Ju June 29th and then July 6th. We have two Baroque ep Works episodes uh, going through uh, Volumes 13 through 23. That's July 13th through 20th. Um, and so on and so forth. You can check the full schedule out on our website. The last of our so-called archived episodes will be the Punk Hazard episode. That airs on September 21st through Volume 70. Then we're going to have brand new, brand new recorded episodes just for you guys, starting on September 28th um, with two Dress Rosa episodes, just if you can't get enough of that Dress Rosa. Uh, the first one will be Volume 71 through 75, and the second will be Volume 76 through 79. We're not stupid enough to try and do more than five volumes Dress Rose at a time. Yeah, we tried no. that once and it was not fun. Um, then we're going to do uh, an episode about Zoe. That's going to be on October 12th. That's going to be volumes 80 through 82. And finally, we're going to do all of Whole Cake Island in one shot. Even though we're not stupid enough to do all of Dress Rose in one shot, we are stupid enough to do all of Whole Cake Island in one. Uh, that's volumes 83 through 89. That comes out October 19th. Um, and for those wondering... Uh, about the contest and if, if you're just listening to win free stuff uh those will be on the first five episodes so we will announce the winner from the first week on the second part of our east blue um read through and that's going to be uh volume 7 through 12 and that uh comes out on july 6th so that's when we announce the first one then baroque works part one on july 13th that's volumes 13 through 17 Baroque Works Part 2, Volumes 18 through 23. That's going to be on July 20th. The first part of Skypea, Volumes 24 through 28 on July 27th. And we will announce the final winners, including the international winner, uh, during the Skypea read-through. And that's going to be on August 3rd, 2018. You're going to want to check our social media for the winners first. And it will also be in the description for the respective episodes. So please check out OnePiecePodcast.com, Twitter, One Piece Podcast, Facebook, One Piece Podcast. You guys know it. Ed says it at the end of every episode. So you better. Um, now, these episodes feature some extremely special guests from across the board. For those who have not listened to it or were not around three years ago to listen to it, um, th this really includes all of our special guests. Um, so I'm going to read just some of them right now. The first episode I'll say includes greg uh the rest in somewhat alphabetical order uh is urian brown uh from the shonen jump podcast and from weekly shonen jump uh for some reason i put alex as a guest but you know he's a host he's 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 on uh some of these episodes as well uh alexi kirsch uh who is the editor the current editor of one piece is on it amy marr who i believe is still a marketing director over at viz uh is on this i don't know if her role has changed since here uh, Jammer's on it, and I'm sure he's trying to name some characters that he can't figure out. Um, animation director for Rick and Morty and Teen Titans Go, Brian Newton. Uh, Tiffany, who was, uh, I think now she's still at Crunchyroll, but in a different capacity. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but she was at the time the brand manager at Crunchyroll. Miles Thomas, who you still know as the Crunchyroll, uh, numbers guy. Uh, Jason Thompson, the original editor for one piece for the first few volumes he is on uh joey weiser the eisner award nominated uh author for the comic merman greg who i mentioned steven of course is on um and don't forget this compendium that we're that we're giving away here was translated by our very own stephen paul even more reason to enter um so that'll about do it for you know describing the read through uh, the first episode will be out, if it's not already out, Friday, June 29th, and uh, every Friday through October. So you're going to have two episodes of the One Piece podcast, uh, which is nuts, because we're nuts, and we're here for you. If you want, Not even, silent. No, we're not silent, that is true. <laughs> if you want even more One Piece podcasts, please subscribe on Patreon at patreon.com slash One Piece podcast. We have outtakes, exclusives, and a lot more for you over there um steve we're gonna be coming back with our uh alex and steve eats one piece uh hopefully this week or next week at the latest do you want to talk a little bit about what goes on in that 
Oh, that's where we just eat One Piece branded foods uh, supplied to us by some uh, awesome fans of ours. Uh, and uh, we eat them in a video and then we review them. And it's it's delicious slash expired, as uh, Steve said. I didn't want to spoil that. Oh, well. <laughs> I think it's revealed in the first video. Yeah, most of the food had expired by that point. So it's even better. Yeah, so you could look forward to those faces. Um, so again, that's on patreon.com slash one piece podcast, plus exclusive episodes, as I said. Um, and a lot more. And we're going to be doing a lot of, there's going to be a lot of changes going on with the Patreon over the next few months. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, if you haven't listened to the last episode, we uh, had an interview with Bob Mackey from Talking Simpsons. We highly recommend you go back and listen to that, as well as our volume 89 recap with Steven. Uh, next uh, Monday, this coming Monday, we also have our recap of Chapter 909, which none of us have read, so please do not send us any spoilers. The official release comes out on Monday, uh, so please join us in reading that at shonenjump.viz.com. Um, and reading from the very beginning, your first homework assignment is Volumes 1 through 6 for the upcoming episode, uh, East Blue Part 1. So please enjoy that until, you know, pretty soon. My name is Zach. <laughs> my name is Ed. And my name is Steve. We'll see you very soon. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Hello. <laughs> Be my friend.